Good morning, everybody. I am here today for another community interview. I am with Jen, the owner of Tender Crumb Bakery. So um, my name is Gabe. I am the host, and I'm also a real estate broker here on the seacoast. So Jen, let's get, jump right in like we always do. Okay. Talk a little bit about your background, because uh, you're professionally trained, correct? Yes. I went to the Culinary Institute of America in Hyde Park, New York. Um, I was there from 1997 till 2000, and then um, my husband and I moved to New Jersey, and I worked in New York City as a wine salesperson and an in-house chef doing wine and food pairing. Um, and then we moved um, to New Hampshire, well, back to New Hampshire in 2006, and I was a stay-at-home mom, a new baby at home, and I sort of fell back on my baking training, which I, I wasn't planning on being away from it for very long. But anyway, I was home and baking for friends. And I've been doing that mostly for many years now um, until just recently I decided to make it more official mm -hmm. and name myself and promote myself. And it's been doing really well, I think. I don't know. I'm having a good time. and People are enjoying it. So. Right. And for, for you in the audience, um, I did an interview with Anna Chocolate um, a couple of weeks back. Anna is amazing, and she has lots of really great ideas. And you know, I can imagine, as a small business owner, you want to do like everything, but actually putting something on the menu full time is, is difficult. Um, so that's where I come in on Sunday's I do a special and I try to use her chocolate as much as I can. I do a small batch of whatever, and sometimes there's things that she has wanted to maybe try mm -hmm. to include, because I know she's thinking of maybe offering some cakes at a later date. Um, so if we, I can make it and let people try it and it's successful, then and maybe that will get us closer to our goal of adding more items to the menu. Right now I do the brownies there, and I make the marshmallows and the little, um, Cookies, little speculous cookies that she serves with the coffee. Cool. Yeah. yeah. I know she speaks very highly oh, of you. <laughs> she, she loves doing that. Um, and currently you're working on kind of not really a set menu, but a menu that, yes. you know, people can choose things from. Yes. I've been very relaxed in my offerings. Basically people would call me and they would say, I need a carrot cake or... Um, I need a dozen cupcakes that have floss on them because it's my daughter's birthday. Um, so I say, sure, I could do that, no problem. But I think it's, it would be easier to have a set menu of you know, basic choices that are delicious, maybe have a little twist on them um, that you can customize with like a happy birthday or happy anniversary. Um, and then if you wanted to order like a wedding cake or some special interesting thing that's custom, then you, I could do that as well. But right now I'm only taking custom orders. Hopefully early next year I will have my little menu yep. of some cakes and a couple pies possibly and maybe some basic cookies um, and just be more um, forthcoming with the information. I think that's what's missing <laughs> <laughs> right now. But um, yes, yeah, that's, that's coming. It's in the works. Yeah. Well, you're, you're kind of organically growing. Yes, right? I am. I, I am. How, how can they get a hold of you? I know you, you mentioned you have an Instagram page. You have a Facebook page. I do. Yep. So. Uh, so I have an Instagram. It's called Tender Crumb Exeter, and you can message me through there. I started that Instagram as like just a portfolio so people could say, like, oh, Jen, I hear you make stuff. Like, what, is, what kind of stuff? And I could point them to that, and they could just kind of look at it, and it right. would be like a – and I actually had a customer say, oh, I love those cupcakes you made. Like – earlier in the year. Can you make some cupcakes like that for my daughter's um, wedding shower? And so I did. And so that was a, a cool way to kind of let people know what I was doing. So you can message me through there. I also have a Facebook page. It's called Tender Crumb. And um, I think I'm, my phone number is also on there. And I have an email. It's tendercrumbexeter at gmail.com. Nice. And all that's available on social media. Yep. So, I mean, that's fantastic that you know, not everybody just wants to go to the supermarket and buy something right there. I mean, a lot of people do. Yeah. But really, you kind of have this little niche market now of where you're professionally trained. You can you can do a lot of different things upon request. Yeah. And that is huge, I think. 
Yeah, some things are rusty. I know I have some things I have not made in many years. <laughs> yeah. But I know how. And yeah. um, I, yes, I do have a broad background, so I can do lots of different things well. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. No. No worries. Is there anything that we didn't talk about that you would like to, or do you think we've pretty much covered everything? Yeah, I, I think we've, we've covered everything. I'm. Yeah. It was wonderful to meet you and have a chance to share my story with everyone and. Um, if you need something special, I hope you think of me and I'll be happy to make whatever I can for you and we'll discuss it and um, yeah, I just want to be that friendly person that you know who bakes and you call when you need something and yep. um, that would be great. So yes, I hope to hear from you soon. <laughs> so um, thanks everybody for tuning in. As you, as you always know, um, I'm all about supporting local, our local retailers, our local restaurants, um, now more than ever. You know, we need that to help keep them afloat um, and going till this pandemic is over. Jen, thank you very much thank for allowing you. me to come in and do this. Oh, I appreciate welcome. it. I loved it. Thank you. I love meeting meeting new folks, and Thanks. you're great. So uh, until next time, everybody take care. We'll talk again soon. Bye. Bye.